Hi mga ka Matimara here For today's video, finally guys Dumating na or available na po Yung apat na additional Investment products po ni G-Invest po By Atram So guys, kung interested kayong malaman Ano nga pa ito And also, tuturo ko rin sa video na to Step by step, kung paano tayo makakapag-buy Ng order, alright? So guys, if you're interested, please keep on watching Hi guys, andito tayo sa Team Gcash. Punta lang tayo sa Show More. And then under Financial Services, tap natin yung G-Invest. Okay, and as you can see guys, as of now, meron tayong investment dito sa Atram Peso Money Market Fund. Pero guys, if you want to know, meron ako nagawang videos na nag-update po ako kung magkano kinita ko in a year. Watch nyo lang po itong dalawang videos na to in the description box below na lang, okay? Pero... Dahil meron nga silang additional na apat na bagong investment products dito sa ating GCash app, yun yung titingnan natin ngayon. Kaya, tap po natin itong view investment products. And dito, makikita na natin yung additional. So, ito yung old, yung Peso Money Market Fund po. Pero merong bago, which is Global Technology Feeder Fund. Meron ding Global Consumer Trends Feeder Fund. Tsaka merong Total Return Peso Bond Fund. And Philippine Equity Smart Index Fund. So as you can see, aha, yung total return peso bond fund po yung moderate. Tapos the rest po ay aggressive. Ano nga ba itong Atram Global Technology Feeder Fund? By the way, ito yung performance niya for the past 12 weeks, guys. Yung fund risk rating po nito is aggressive. Ngayon, yung risk appetite ko is conservative. So, let's see later kung pwede pa rin tayo makapag-invest kahit na conservative yung ating risk appetite. Pero ano nga ba itong Global Technology Feeder Fund? Itong fund po na ito, invest entirely po sa equities ng technology companies, kagaya na lang ng Apple, Samsung, Microsoft, Alphabet. Ito po ay Global Feeder Fund from foreign companies. Ngayon, another question, magkano ba yung minimum na initial investment? That's at 1,000 pesos po. And yung minimum naman na additional investment is at 1,000 pesos. Yung past one year return po nito is 83.72% po. Grabe, ang laki po nito guys, ba? So anyway, if you wanna know more about fund performance nitong ating investment product na Global Technology Feeder Fund, tsaka yung risks involved, then click or tap niyo lang po itong fund performance or risk po down below, okay? Pag-usapan naman natin itong Atram Global Consumer Trends Feeder. So, itong fund na to ay nag invest entirely sa equities based on individual consumer needs. Kaya gaya na lang ng Amazon, Alibaba, yung Shopee, Activision, Blizzard. Ito ay global feeder fund po from foreign companies. Ngayon, magkano naman yung minimum na initial investment dito? 1,000 pesos pa rin guys. Yung minimum na additional investment is also 1,000 pesos. And guys, ang laki po ng past 1 year return niya at 96.63% po. Grabe talaga. So, mas mataas po ito kaysa sa technology feeder fund po kanina. Okay? Now, if you wanna know more about fund performance nitong ating specific na investment product as well as its risks, then check nyo na lang po, itap nyo lang po itong fund performance and risk po dito bago kayo mag-buy. Okay? You have to make sure na you know, sigurado ka na na mag invest ka na talaga dito. Also guys, dun sa past one year return, nag iba iba po yan guys ha. Depende po talaga yan sa performance. Pero if you wanna know more, I think it's better if mag-read po tayo dito sa fund, fund, sa fund performance po nitong specific investment product po na ito. Okay? Next is Atram Total Return Peso Bond Fund. As you can see, hindi ganun kaganda yung kanyang performance for the past 12 weeks po dahil pababa po ng pababa. Okay? Yung fund risk rating nito is for moderate and yung fund po is composed of a variety of Philippine government and corporate Gaya bonds, ng retail treasury bond, fixed rate treasury notes, and so on. So, ang goal po nitong fund po nito is to preserve the principal with potential for capital gains. Ngayon, magkano naman yung minimum na initial investment dito? It's only 50 pesos po. Pwede ka na makapag-invest dito sa peso bond fund po. 
Now, yung kanyang past 1 year return is at 8%. So, hindi din masama guys, ano? 8% kasi yung last, yung money market fund po natin is hindi man lang umabot ng 1%. And lastly guys, Atram Philippine Equity Smart Index Fund. Ito yung performance niya for the past 12 weeks. Medyo hindi din ganun kaganda guys, ba? Now, yung fund risk rating nito is for aggressive. And yung fund na to invest only in 30 companies that compose the Philippine Stocks Exchange Index. Kagaya na lang ng Globe Telecom, Ayala Corporation, SM Investments, and Universal Rubina Corporation. Yung fund na to follows its own enhanced index approach po. Ngayon, magkano naman yung minimum na initial investment? Only 50 pesos guys. Pwede na tayong makapag-invest po dito. And yung past one year return po nito, is at 20%, 20.76% po. So, better po ito than the peso bond fund tsaka money market fund po. Pero, like I said, nag-iiba-iba po talaga yung past one year return nito depende po sa performance po ng investment product po na ito. Okay? So guys, recap lang tayo ha. Yung Atram Peso Money Market Fund po ay may 0.66% na past 1 year return. Yung Global Tech Feeder Fund naman ay merong 83.72% na past 1 year return. Yung Global Consumer Trends Feeder Fund merong 96.63. Ito yung pinakamataas po. Okay? Yung Total Return Peso Bond Fund is at 8.08%. And yung Philippine Equity Smart Index Fund ay meron pong 20.76% na past 1 year return. So, nagbabago-bago po ito guys each year. Depende po sa performance po ng investment products. So, so guys, andito tayo sa Atram Global Technology Feeder Fund. Magbabay po tayo guys. So, tap natin yung buy. And then, sabi dito, be mindful of your risk appetite. Kasi nga yung risk appetite po natin is conservative. Sabi niya, the fund you wish to buy has a higher risk rating than your risk appetite. If you proceed, you're, you're, you acknowledge that you are aware of the potential risk involved in investing in this fund. So, proceed lang tayo kung sure ka na na gusto mo talagang mag-invest dito guys. And then, after niyan, tap lang natin tong I agree. And then, tap natin tong I agree to the fund's key information, investment disclosure statement, and risk disclosure statement. After niyan, guys, tap lang natin tong proceed. And we will be given 6-digit authentication code. So, tap lang natin or ilagay natin dito. 192529. Submit code. And ayan, pwede na tayong makapag-add or makapag-buy, guys. So, minimum po is 1,000 pesos. So, definitely, minimum yung ilalagay natin dito kasi wala tayong ganun kalaking pera. And also, kasi we are just testing the water, guys, kung okay ba talaga to or not. Now, confirmation na, guys, you are about to buy 1,000 pesos to your investment using GCash. Approximate um, unit equivalent is 5 units po. And then, tap lang natin tong I agree to buy. So, guys, ito yung subscription or buy order disclaimer. Ayan, basahin po natin yan very well. Okay. Press close. And then, tap lang natin tong confirm. Sabi dito, please review to ensure that the details are correct before you proceed. And buy order placed. Please wait while your order is being processed. You will receive an SMS once transaction is being confirmed. So, SMS time na receive, guys. And sabi dito, you have paid 1,000 pesos to buy units of Atram Global Technology Feeder Fund. Ayan yung order number po niya. Okay? And yung order status niya is placed. Pero sabi, we have to wait 4 business days for your buy order to be completed. So, although nakabuy na tayo ngayon, um, ng March 17 pero we have to wait until ma-complete po yung order natin. So, okay. Balik tayo sa Gcash natin guys ha. So guys, alit tayo sa ating Gcash account. Nabawasan na yung balance nating Gcash guys. Kanina 6,000 plus yun. Ngayon 5,000 plus na lang. And dito sa Global Technology Feeder Fund, wala pang nangyayari kasi hindi pa completed yung ating buy order. We have to wait 4 business days daw. Ngayon is 
March 17, Wednesday. Update ko kayo kapag completed na yung ating order. Okay? So guys, that's it. Sana nakatulong kahit pa pa na itong video na ito sa inyo. And if you have any questions guys, feel free to comment down below. Subscribe ko hindi ka pa nakakasubscribe. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye for now. Thank you.